What we do firstly is we uh, will we'll get a slide that we've taken to the, the Burkhardt machine, which uh, sucks pollen from the air onto the slide. Um, then we'll take it to the lab, put a, uh, put a cover slip on it, seal it up, and then bring it to the microscope, put it under the microscope uh, at a 400 power magnification, and then look at the slide three times across, um, and then count the slide. My name is Dr. Ben Keeney. I'm from the Department of Archaeology and Natural History in the College of Asia and the Pacific in the Australian National University. A, a bad pollen day depends on which species of pollen are on the slide and um, how many there are. So when we start to think about grass pollen, when we think we we'll talk about a high grass pollen day, it would be with more than 50, 50 grass grains per cubic metre. Uh, in an extreme grass pollen day, you'd be looking at over 100. The highest I've ever seen uh, was about three years ago in Canberra, and we were looking at levels over 400 grass grains per cubic metre. What's going to happen is uh, in, the, in, in the coming weeks and months, we're going to get an automated pollen counter, um, and that's going to have an AI component to it um, and what it'll do is it'll be able to count pollen in real time through shooting lasers at the pollen and then the pollen refracts the laser and then um, it counts it, it, it counts from there so uh, it's an example where AI will um, sadly uh, take, take work away.